Hi, my name's Carl. Welcome to Carlzo. Before we start, I've got something very, very important to say. It's not easy, but here it goes. lady in front of me and she was like massive you know like wider than she was tall and she was ordering something off the Weight Watchers menu and I was thinking what a stupid idiot you're in a fast food restaurant even the Weight Watchers meal is going to make you fat uh, I'm not dissing Weight Watchers but I'm just dissing the idiots which go into a fast food restaurant and trying to order a meal which is going to help them lose weight so anyway I came up with this awesome idea when you go up to the, the counter the fast food restaurants, they actually have a scales from the counter that you've got to stand on and they'll measure your body fat. If your body fat is over the recommended amount, they should multiply the cost of the meal. If your body weight's within the recommended um, range, they should, you know, give you the meal quite cheaply. If your body fat's under the recommended range, they should give you everything for free. Honestly, that'd be awesome. I'd go there and like every um, day and have a massive fee for almost nothing because your muscle, you see. The other day, me and the anti-smoking brigade were having this uh, interesting discussion. Um, we decided that um, they should ban people from smoking in doorways because, you know, they ban people from smoking in public buildings and workplaces, right? But what do they do? They just stand outside the doorway. So to go into the building, you've got to walk through this thick, disgusting cloud of smoke. Which is absolutely disgusting. Makes you want to vomit or have an asthma attack or something like that. So yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to smoke in doorways. Because this, it's like one year where if you're an old smoker, you kind of have to go through. Like if you see a group of smokers in the park, you're not going to walk up to them and go, Hey, stop smoking, you idiots. Because, you know, they're over there, away from you. It's not going to do you any harm. But when you're going through a doorway of a building, they're standing right in front. You've got to go through that doorway. You can't got no choice. You've got to go through there. You're walking through the thick cloud of toxic evilness. Yeah. So seriously, join the anti-smoking brigade today. Boom. I'm going to start a Facebook group. Yeah. Okay, time for the question of the video. Today's question. Carl, what is your favourite colour? Well, that's a difficult uh, choice. It comes down between blue and black. Well, technically black isn't really a colour. It's more of an absence of light. So, that would make it blue. I just think blue is such an awesome colour. I'm not talking about baby blue, because that's a little bit weird. Like, deep, dark blue. Not purple either, like just before it goes from blue to purple. I think that... Yeah, that's quite an awesome colour, blue. Apparently it makes you depressed. Anyway, toodaloo.